Welcome to the Morning Download Podcast, your go-to resource for personal finance, economics, and market insights. In just eight minutes a day, we provide valuable information to help you make better money decisions. Don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter at https semicolon slash slash www.morningdownload.com slash subscribe. Let's dive right in. In today's episode, we'll cover investors' optimistic response to rising stocks, Flutter Entertainment's listing on the NYSE, Sophie's strong earnings and future plans, Coinbase's fees and other financial news, the impact of elections on investing, and Robert Kiyosaki's insight on wealth management. So there's some interesting news to talk about today. The New York Stock Exchange has welcomed a new member. Flutter Entertainment, the parent company of FanDuel, has joined the NYSE as a secondary listing. You might recognize it as the online sports betting company that has been on the London Stock Exchange since 2019. But now, it's looking to make NYSE its primary home. Seems like the London Stock Exchange isn't doing so well these days. Investors are starting to look elsewhere, and LSE has been dealing with some low valuations, especially since Brexit. This might prompt more companies to follow Flutter Entertainment's lead and turn to the U.S. for their listings. But let's get into the numbers. Flutter Entertainment's U.S. listed shares, traded under the ticker FLUT, saw a 1% increase, reaching $207. 10. Not bad. Now, speaking of Flutter Entertainment's presence in the U.S., you might be surprised to learn that the company isn't entirely new to the American market. They've had American Depository Receipts, or ADR, traded over the counter for years, under the ticker dollar PDIPI. Now, let's move on to some global headlines. First up, Saudi Arabia's Aramco has put its plans to increase maximum oil production capacity on hold. And in retail news, return fraud is on the rise as consumers return purchases in large numbers. But here's something exciting. Elon Musk's Neuralink has implanted brain technology in a human patient for the first time. Definitely a groundbreaking development. SoFi Technologies had quite a day on Monday, with the stock soaring 20.2% after delivering some impressive numbers in its earnings report. The company reported a per share profit of $0.02, compared to a loss of $0.05 per share last year. Analysts were expecting a break even quarter, so this beat was certainly welcome news. But it didn't stop there. Sophie's adjusted net revenue also saw a significant jump of 34% year over year, reaching $594. $25 million. That's higher than the expected figure of $572 million. Clearly, things are looking up for the company. The growth in demand is also worth noting. Personal loans skyrocketed by 31%, while student loans saw an impressive increase of 95%. Home loan origination volumes rose by a staggering 193% year over year. These numbers demonstrate that SoFi is capturing the attention and trust of consumers. Looking ahead, SoFi sees 2024 as a transitional year, where its focus will shift towards the technology platform and financial services segments. In fact, during the earnings call, the CEO urged investors to pay less attention to the lending segment as the company expects it to shrink in the future. While analysts are giving a higher target for the company, we believe it might be wise to wait for another quarter before considering an investment. There are still challenges ahead, especially with the expected shrinkage of the lending business in 2024. So, it's too early to bet on this horse just yet. In other news, iRobot shares took a hit, falling 8% after Amazon canceled its planned acquisition, citing regulatory approval issues. Also, Netflix co-founder and executive chairman Reed Hastings made a generous move by gifting 2 million shares of the streaming giant valued at over $1. $1 billion, according to a recent regulatory filing. And on the topic of electric vehicles, BYD, a major player in China's market, believes the race for dominance in China's EV market could last for three years. They even expressed interest in collaborating with Tesla. Let's dive into the world of crypto and see what's been happening lately. First off, Coinbase, one of the big players in the industry, has announced that they will start charging fees on conversions from USDC to USD. It's a move that has drawn some attention and may have an impact on the way people trade. In other news, Fidelity's Bitcoin ETF has been doing pretty well, reportedly raking in $208 million. And interestingly, this seems to have offset the outflows from Grayscale. To attract more investors, providers like Invesco and Galaxy have decided to slash fees. 
so it's all about making crypto more accessible to the masses. Now let's talk about PayPal. They've recently backed a crypto security startup called Mesh, which operates with their very own stablecoin called PYUSD. It's a smart move by PayPal, showing their commitment to the crypto space and investing in innovative solutions. On a less positive note, the Department of Justice, DOJ, and the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, have unveiled charges against Hyperfund, a company accused of a dollar one, nine billion cryptocurrency fraud. It's a reminder that the crypto industry still needs strong regulations to protect investors from such scams. Lastly, Bitcoin is hitting the headlines once again as it steadily pushes towards the $45,000 mark. Some experts believe that now is the last chance to buy it at a discount, so if you've been waiting, this might be the time to make a move. When it comes to investing, one question that often pops up is whether it's better to invest now or wait until after the elections. The truth is, elections typically only have a short-term impact on the stock market. In a few months, things usually return to normal. So, if you have short-term goals, it may make sense to consider the impact of elections. But for long-term investors, there's no need to change your strategy solely based on elections. That being said, deciding when to invest can still be a bit tricky, especially in uncertain times. The key is to be a smart investor and carefully choose your portfolio. Here are a few tips to keep in mind. First, consider using dollar cost averaging. This strategy allows you to benefit from the situation by investing a fixed amount at regular intervals, regardless of market fluctuations. Second, having a diversified portfolio is crucial. By spreading your investments across different industries, you can protect yourself from a downturn in a single sector. Next, focus on long-term investments and don't get caught up in short-term fluctuations. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Additionally, take advantage of the current high interest rate environment by opting for high yield savings accounts. This can be a safe way to earn a decent return on your money. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek guidance from a financial advisor. They can provide personalized solutions based on your financial goals and help you navigate the investment landscape. Remember, investing is a long-term game and making informed decisions based on your overall financial goals is key. Robert Kiyosaki, an American businessman and author, once said, it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. Now, this quote really hits home when it comes to understanding the true value of money. It's not just about the amount you earn, but also about what you do with it. Think about it this way. You can make a lot of money, but if you don't manage it wisely and make it work for you, it won't have the impact you desire. So, how can you make your money work for you? Well, one way is by investing wisely. Instead of just saving, consider exploring investment options that have the potential to grow your wealth. This can be through stocks, real estate, or even starting your own business. Additionally, Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of preserving your wealth for future generations. It's not just about the immediate benefits, but also creating a legacy. This means thinking long-term and making decisions that will positively impact not only your present, but also the future of your loved ones. So, the next time you think about money, Remember that it's not just about making it, it's about how you manage it, make it work for you, and ensure its longevity for generations to come. In this episode, we covered the rise of stocks and investor optimism, Flutter Entertainment's listing on the NYSE, Sophie's strong earnings, the election's impact on investing, Coinbase fees, and other financial news, as well as the importance of managing wealth for long-term effects. Thanks for tuning in to The Morning Download your go-to podcast for personal finance, economics, and market insights in just eight minutes a day. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content and sign up for our free newsletter at morningdownload.com slash subscribe.